Hey, welcome everybody to another segment of Super Tuesday on the Educational AD Podcast. We'll be right back with today's Super Tuesday guest, but as always, we want to give a shout out to our sponsors. These are all companies that I used as an athletic director, so please don't hit that fast forward button. Stay with us for the next three minutes as we acknowledge our great sponsors. We want to say thanks to Gipper for their support of the Educational AD Podcast and Super Tuesday. Go to Gipper.com. Their team is going to help you to create world-class sports graphics for your school's social media channel and let you celebrate your athletes and promote your teams. Gipper is used and trusted by over 3,000 high school and college athletic programs across the country. It's professional graphic design made simple. How simple? Even I can use it. Go to Gipper.com. Start creating world-class content for your school's social media channel. We want to thank Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Uh, if you've never used a survey to take the pulse of your parents or your student-athletes, you're really missing out. Athletic Surveys is going to connect you. It's going to connect you to that group of parents that like to complain, but it's also going to connect you to the 98% of your parents that support your program. And that's a tremendously valuable tool to have when you're talking with a frustrated parent or maybe your principal, or even your school board. Go to athleticsurveys.com. Let them help you take your athletic program from good to great. We want to say thanks to our good friends at Sideline Interactive, indoor score tables and video boards. Go to sidelineinteractive.com. Schedule a live web demo to see their score boards and their score tables in action. Uh, their products not only generate income for your department, they also create the ultimate game day experience for your student athletes. That's sidelineinteractive.com. We want to say thanks to Huddle. Go to huddle.com and change the way you see the game. As a football coach, I used Huddle for years, but when I became an athletic director, I made sure that our school was a Huddle school, and our coaches just loved the tools that Huddle provided that let them coach our kids up to their highest level. Go to huddle.com, join the 8 million users, and turn your school into a huddle school. We want to say thanks to our friends at Snap Raise. Have you ever spent weeks on a fundraiser and got little, if any, return? Stop right there and go to snapraise.com slash EDAD. Hands down, the best online fundraiser. And our parents loved it. Our coaches loved it because it worked. Okay. Go to snapraise.com. Uh, start raising money for your school's athletic program. We want to thank Home Campus, the exclusive um, state association uh, platform for the Educational AD podcast. As an athletic director, I used Home Campus every day, and you're going to love its ability to schedule uh, what it does with athletic clearance and eligibility, working with parents and coaches. It's just tremendous. To get started, all you have to do is go to homecampus.com. That's it, homecampus.com. We also want to thank Vital Signs Wall of Fame for their support. Go to their website, vitalsignswalloffame.com. Check out their interactive touchscreen video consoles. It's a great way to show off your school record boards, your school's Hall of Fame, or simply share and celebrate your school's diverse history and your proudest moments. That's vitalsignswalloffame.com. And we want to thank Hometown Ticketing, the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. Go to hometownticketing.com. Uh, let their team show you how to make the best uh, online ticketing solution for your school. Hometown Ticketing, it's digital ticketing that offers more. Yes, sir. Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of Super Tuesday on the Educational AD Podcast. Uh, we've got uh, an old friend of the show uh, back for his second installment. Uh, regular listeners will recognize this name, Albert Whedon Jr. He's not just the athletic director. He's the principal and the athletic director at Lochapoca High School, and that's in Auburn, Alabama. Very active at the state level and at the nation national level. And we're very fortunate to have him back on Super Tuesday. So, Albert, welcome back. What do you have for our listeners this week? Hey, thank you, Jake, for having me having me back on the show again. Um, I appreciate everything you do for all the ADs all across the globe. 
Um, for the listeners out there, hey, I'm Albert Wheaton, and I'm also the principal and athletic director, like you said. Real quick, write this number down, 334-750-2071. That's 334-750-2071. That's my direct cell phone number. I pride myself in being the most reachable person you're ever going to come around. So there it is. You can reach me now anytime by call, text, um, and anything you need as far as athletic director or athletic administration concern. You also can reach me on my Twitter account at AWJR21. That's AWJR21 uh, to reach me on X slash Twitter if you need to reach out to me on social media. Uh, once again, thanks for having me on. Um, ADs and coaches, pay close attention to what I'm getting ready to tell you. This is going to be, won't take long. You cannot do everything yourself, okay? It is impossible, all right? If you want to have a happy wife at home or you want to make sure that you have a happy family at home, you cannot do everything yourself. So what I'm getting ready to tell you, please just try it, and I promise you it will work for you. The first thing you need to do, ADs, all right? You cannot cover every event at your school. So if you can, ADs, hire yourself some assistant athletic directors, okay? Hire assistant ADs. And you don't have to start out by paying them. It could be an expiring coach on your staff who you give assistant athletic director duties. You kind of grooming them for a position at some point, okay? So make sure you hire assistant ADs if you can hire them or appoint them, you know, from your coaching staff that will help you work all these gates and games and different things you have going on to help you supervise. It is impossible for you to be out there working these games by yourself and no other eyes on what's going on at those events. It's too many, it's too many things that can happen at an athletic event. You have to have more than just yourself there watching the gate, you know, watching doors, locker room. There's so many different things that involve the actual game that day from the officials like you have to find someone that can help you. So my advice to you first is, thing is first is find you an assistant athletic director. In my case, I have three assistant athletic directors. OK, and I have them by this fall and winter and spring sports. So in the fall, I have my basketball coaches as assistant ADs. They're going to make sure all the fall sports are taken care of. OK, they're going to assist me to make sure all the fall sports are taken care of. All right. In the winter uh, time, all the football coaches uh, appoint someone. They will make sure that the winter sports are taken care of and everything that they need for the winter sports. OK. In the springtime. Now we have a lot of things going on. Everybody knows spring is the busiest time of the year. So those basketball coaches, those football coaches, you appoint someone from those that staff to help you work the spring sports. It is very important that you find you some help. And that is how you do it. You should just appoint someone, or if you have it in your budget, you know, you pay them to be the assistant AD, you know, and have their role at your school. And you can uh, you can ask your district for a district help, local funds. But once again, if you don't have the funds, I don't want it to be a barrier for you. You know, you don't have to have the funds for you to appoint someone who wants to at one day be an AD. You know, you have to groom them for that position. So you give them duties, you know, early on in their coaching career so they can see what it takes and see if they really want to do and be an athletic director. OK, the second thing I'm going to tell you is going to make your life a whole lot easier. OK, at your school, I know someone has to take up tickets and gate workers at your school. Someone someone is doing it for you. The first thing you need to do is before school start ADs is talk to your principal and let the principal know, hey, I need help working gates at your school. And that's for all sports year round. OK, so make sure you talk to the principal first. Get the blessing of the principal first and let them know, hey, I want to create a Google spreadsheet and send it out to all the teachers and say, hey, these are the home games that we have here at our school. Can you volunteer to work at least two home games? And work, be a gate worker, volunteer now. That doesn't mean you get paid. But as ADs and coaches, we know we can give them complimentary shirts. You know, we give them passes to all the events. It's things you can do without having a monetary value. You know, I spoke earlier in another segment about relationships. 
this is the way you build a relationship with everybody in your building, ADs. You send out that spreadsheet. You let them know that their help is valued. You need them to work and work these games. And it also allows the teachers at your school to help out with all the different programs that they want to support. And it also helps them to build relationships with their students because they can say, hey, you know, I'm coming to work that game tonight. So, hey, make sure you're doing the right thing in my classroom because I'm coming to work your game tonight. So all that comes full circle, coaches. Build a relationship with your people in your building. Start with your principal. We talked about that in another podcast, that relationship piece of the PRC model. Build that relationship where the principal will allow you to send out that Google form or a Google spreadsheet, and they just type in the name and date of the game they want to work as a gate worker at your school. And I promise you, I promise you, it'll be a game changer for you. And, and another piece to that is at my school, all of the coaches. If you coach a sport at my school, you will be a gate worker for another sport. Okay. That builds relationship with the coaches in your building because now they are supporting one another. In the fall, all the other coaches who are coaching other sports other than football, y'all are gonna help work, work gates. Okay. So because you got different levels. In our school, our case, we got middle school football, <laughs> we got JV football. I mean, you got all the different levels of the football teams, and they have to have gate workers. And you have, you know, you have varsity, it goes all the way up. So all your coaches who work on your staff. Make sure they understand that if they're going to coach at your school, they will also support the other programs, number one, by being a gate worker, and they sign up for the date that they want to work, okay? You give come up with that spreadsheet of the, the dates of the home games, and they can plug in around their family and their friends, schedule what date they want to work, and you hold them accountable for that date that they're going to work, or those two dates, uh, how many, you know, you give them or what they want to sign up for. So remember, ADs. You cannot do this all alone. You cannot do this by yourself. Build those relationships in your building. You know, talk to your principal so you will have permission and approval to send out that spreadsheet where they can just type in their name of the gate and day and event that they want don't that they want to work, and make sure all your coaches on your staff know that they will be working other gates for other teams and other coaches because we're all in this together. And, uh, it's, and it shows the camarader camaraderie and support of all the coaches by holding up and supporting every event at your school, you know, during that academic and athletic school year. I want to thank you, Jake, for giving me the opportunity to share these nuggets with our viewers and listeners out there so they understand that it's always a way out where you don't have to do all this by yourself. Uh, no, and, I, and I'm so glad you shared both of those. Uh, just real quick, um, the first one, you know, finding, hiring, finding, developing, you know, an assistant AD and, you know, whether it is, you know, a, a paid job or turns into a paid job, or it's just initially a volunteer uh, opportunity. Talk with your principal, as you mentioned, um, if for no other reason that your principal knows all the things that you are responsible for as an AD yes, uh, and you have, you know, talking to the listeners now, you've got coaches, head coaches, uh, middle school coaches, et cetera, on your staff right now that are hungry for a leadership opportunity. This is a great way to let them see what an AD does. And as far as the gate coverage, again, another tremendous idea. And, you know, whether you give them a, a hot dog and a soda at the concession stand after they're done covering the gate, or you're able to give them, I mean, I know it's 2024, but you know, 10 or 20 bucks in their pocket, uh, you know, from the till just for covering the gate for an hour. Or so that's, that's not bad, but again, talk to your principal, see if you can make that, you know, uh, let's say a supplemented position, give your teachers the swag, the t-shirts, the hats, they love that stuff. Yes. Uh, but again, Albert hit it on the head, communicate, with your principal, let them know what you do, all the things that you do, and that you want to kind of, you know, share the wealth and the experiences. And and the teachers, Albert, you've done this for a long time. The teachers that do get involved, they reap the benefits uh, from coming to those games because the kids see that. They see who's at the games. Mm -hmm. They see who's helping out. Great, great stuff. Um, Albert, I know you gave out your contact information at the beginning, but yes. you know, uh, one more time, uh, sure. you know, the email, and I know you love to give out your phone number. I do too. But yeah. uh, how can they get in touch with you if they want to find out more? Anyone can reach me at my direct cell phone number at 
750-2071. That's 334-750-2071. Uh, my social media, Twitter slash X account is AWJR21. That's AWJR21 is my Twitter uh, X account where you can reach me on social media. Um, I'm always reachable and always available. And uh, I want to thank you for your time today and make sure you remember, hey, you're not in this alone. You can do it. Trust me, this this formula will work for you. You know, it, it's, it'll be very beneficial. And at the same time, when you get those assistant ADs where you hire a point wherever it is, that's when you can throw in the NIAAA and throw in the leadership professional development courses, the LTC courses, and you have just started your professional development for your coach or assistant AD all in one, one little one little email. That's all it takes. Yeah, absolutely. Great, great advice. Uh, so listeners, you got a great resource here. Don't be afraid to reach out. Albert, thanks again for sharing and all the best as we continue the, the spring sports season here in 2024. Yes, sir. Thank you. For listeners, uh, we do this every single week and we appreciate you tuning in. We also upload these recordings to the Education Lady Podcast YouTube channel. Come back next Tuesday for another great Super Tuesday segment and just about every day for new content on the Education Lady Podcast. We'll see you all next time. But I, again, two great suggestions. Um, and it, it all revolves around communicating with your principal. You know, let them know the work you do and how they can help you do an even better job. Great stuff. Before we go, uh, let's go and give a shout out to our sponsors. Remember, these are companies that I used as an athletic director. Uh, I have no problem uh, telling you what a great company they are. So reach out and connect with them. Huddle, go to huddle.com. Uh, hometown Ticketing, that's hometownticketing.com. Snap Raise, Snap Raise slash E-D-A-D. -D. Vital Signs Wall of Fame, go to vitalsignswalloffame.com. Home Campus, homecampus.com. That was pretty easy. Sideline Interactive, indoor score tables and video boards. Go to sidelineinteractive.com. Uh, athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Go to athleticsurveys.com. And finally, Gipper. Go to gipper.com. Thanks again for uh, joining us on Super Tuesday. Hope you have a uh, great week. And we'll see you next time on the Educational AD Podcast. Thanks for listening.